we frequently hear that democracy is on the ballot this election, and that is true, but it's only partially true. If we believe in democracy, it's not just enough, although it is absolutely essential, to defeat the fascist threat represented by Donald Trump, but it's also important to have a real agenda for meaningful democracy. And that means building a political system where every vote is treated equally, building a political system where our legislatures are based on the principle of one person, one vote, and where tiny states don't have as much power as massive states. In other words, where we treat people as more important than empty acres. And right now, our political system doesn't. It also means coming up with a meaningful idea, a plan, for getting big money out of politics. Because the extent to which money can simply have a dramatic influence on elections is a real problem for our democracy. So while I believe that it is true that fascism is on the ballot and must be defeated, it's not so much that democracy is on the ballot, it's that the possibility of democracy is on the ballot. And we should vote for that. And we should hope that fascism is defeated. But we should recognize that even a win in November means that we're moving towards democracy, not that we've achieved or preserved it.